everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Off. We're back as the batter, the mighty, mighty batter, world, world's greatest uh, baseball player, or something like that. And we're in this uh, this mine shaft, and this little cat friend came to meet with us. So I forget if we talked to him last episode. Let's see if he has anything to say. I invite you to attend to retrieve this spherical add-on moving up and down right behind my pubescent back. Okay, whatever you say, buddy. I guess we might as well grab this thing. Looks kind of like a bubble. Add-on Alpha has joined you. <laughs> Is he a squad mate? Did this bubble just join my squad? That'd be pretty cool. What an exceptionally intriguing phenomenon. Exceptionally. I must admit that I remain perplexed by this unexpected metaphysical reaction. Fair enough. Since it has decided to accompany you, I know only to advise you to make the best usage possible of it. Got it. The Chief of the Spectres isn't here? Sorry, but I fear to... Uh, I have to respond in the negative. Apart from this add-on, I have not crossed the way of a single soul in this lieu. Are you the... Maybe you lied to me before and you actually are the Chief. Oh well, let's go ahead and head on out of here. We probably should check what's going on with this alpha add-on first, though. See his competence level. He is same with us, doesn't seem to have any competence whatsoever. Oh no, we have a wide angle for... <laughs> Analyzes the enemy's characteristics, a wide angle. Nice, I like that. Dude, you got anything to say for us? There's nothing down there. Ah, you're back! So, have you killed the... Uh, the Chief of the Spectres? No. He wasn't there! Oh, r really I... Bugger. Crap. I... Well then, uh... I believe that I'll have to let you enter into the main gorges then. But, um, the regulations oppose it. Alright, um, I... I suppose this is the very special case as stated in paragraph 5. So, um, good. Well, the main mines are on the right. There. This guy's like a, um... A more nervous version of the main character from the Lego movie. I just recently saw that, uh, yesterday, I think, and... He's a construction worker, like the lead character in the Lego movie, and... This is like the guy at the beginning of the Lego movie. He He's following all the rules rather than breaking them. This guy doesn't want... Challenge me Pokemon style, unfortunately. What you got? There are phantoms down there. They keep us from working properly. But now it's break time for me anyways. Eh, good work, good sir. <laughs> good job on your break. Uh, keep up the good work. What are you doing here? Are you the mine inspector? No, I'm going mosey on along. Don't even need to talk to you dudes. Well, what's this? Oh, it's just a guy. I saw, like, his hat, and I thought it was, like, a little frog or something weird. The lamps don't always work in the endmost corridors, and since everything looks the same around here, it's easy to get lost. Okay, thanks, buddy. You've come to eliminate the specters? That's good news. These people don't have much to say. Makes me a little bit sad. There are phantoms in every corridor. Be careful, mister. And besides... Who has let you enter? Normally, the regulations prohibit external visitors. I wonder if this place is anything to hide. They had like a frickin' barrier to keep anyone from coming in. This place might have some forbidden secrets that we'll need to uncover. Show yourselves, corrupt children! I'm the voice of forgiveness that'll eliminate your calamitous forms. Oh shoot! That was unexpected. Uh-oh. <laughs> dot dot dot. Prepare yourselves to suffer my judgment! Okay. <laughs> this music is pretty awesome. <laughs> We're dealing with a lot of enemies right here, which is gonna be a little bit frightening. But this music... This music is pretty amazing. I... I mean, what can I say? I, I, I like this a lot. <laughs> 
so far, this game has been super enjoyable uh, for my part with its, um... It doesn't have quite as many, like, wacky, crazy things going on as Space Funeral did. And so far, I, I think I definitely prefer Space Funeral to this game right here, but, um... But it's definitely thrown you for uh, just as many surprises as Space Funeral did in, uh, even this short span of this game beginning, so... Let's go ahead and finish off this other enemy. I actually did not notice the... A little battle time logo on the left side of the screen over there. That's pretty damn sick. I like that a lot. Adversary is purified. Nice. Or ended experience. Got a lot. Whoa, we got like, we got like five luck tickets there. That's crazy. This add-on is fighting by my side. That's practical. Let's purify our other galleries or the other galleries. Is this another save point? Health points and competence points completely restored. The yellow blocks allow you to return to the nothingness. Interesting. Let's go ahead and save. Hopefully that won't... Okay, good. That didn't return us. No! Our area's blocked off. Looks like we'll have to go over here first then. Go back on uh, yonder later. Ooh, a treasure chest. I love these things. A joker has been found. It's like the joker? Because I don't really want that. Unless it's voiced by Mark Hamill. Then I'll take it. Because Mark Hamill is, like, the best Joker ever. <laughs> Mark Hamill's, like, the best everything ever. I love Mark Hamill so much. Audacious Symbol. Offensive equipment for add-ons. That's pretty cool. I like that. Well, what is this Joker? Oh, revives a person. Okay. That's silly. Once again, very similar. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell is this? It's creepy giant heads. I don't like that at all. Let's just go ahead and beat up on these guys. Uh, they seem to be a little bit stronger than the previous ones were, but I'm sure we'll be able to handle them nicely with our big old bat. Ah, uh, you jerkwad. Living through my attacks. Alright. Adversary is purified like a boss. Let's see what this guy has to say. I'm... I'm working. I'm being productive. Okay, well, whatever you say, buddy. Looks like we entered, like, an action sequence Pokemon kind of area, so hopefully we won't get too many of those. I, I do really enjoy those things, but I don't know. I'd, I tend to prefer it more when um when it's not random fights that occur every now and then. Like, like I really like the Space Funeral way of doing it. Uh, Once again, talking about Space Funeral, where the enemies were just walking all over the place. I don't know why, but I kind of like that style. Two pieces of Bellion's meat have been found. Interesting. What the hell is that? Curse, uh, cures all negative status alterations. God damn, that one was difficult to read. <laughs> I kind of like how weird the text is in this game, but certainly can be a little bit tricky to understand from time to time. This add-on is pretty badass, though. I love how he's, like, twice our size. He's freaking enormous. You should be able to, like, eat all these enemies, like, teleport them to another dimension or something like that. Adversary is purified once again. Status chain... Oh, no, sat... Uh, saturated chain has been acquired. Is that an item or a move? Looks like it's an item. Okay. Hopefully we'll be gaining in strength before too long as well, because if we're taking that many hits to beat up those enemies, it might be a little bit rough once we get to uh, the bosses in the future and stuff like that. But these guys are easy peasy lemon squeezy, to be sure. Also got a really nice kind of tranquil purple background for um how dark the imagery is of these like giant heads coming to attack us. It's a little bit wacky. All right, Mr. Batter, what you got for us down here? Oh, God, this is like the corridor from, um... There's a door, but it seems to be locked from the inside. But it, does this light have to do anything? Oh, yeah! Let's go ahead and activate this. Puzzles to the max. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit proud I got that one right there. We're safe here, but we'll have to escape once we run out of meat. I have meat. I could give them meat if they want. Oh, a treasure chest. Three pieces of Belia's meat have been found. Okay. Why did you open the door? The specters are going to attack us. Go away. Go away quickly. Uh, whatever. 
The regulations prohibit outside visitors to enter the main galleries. Go away. These people are all so rude. I'm just, like, coming to chill with them, and they're getting mad at me. Honestly, I kind of hope they all die, not because I'm a jerk. Well, actually, this would probably make me a jerk, because I, I, I hope that they die, because I think it would be kind of funny. <laughs> like, I'm a diabolical human being, apparently. Oh my god, this guy doesn't have a helmet! It's like the only construction worker man here. Who doesn't have one, of course. W what? Did you come from the smoke mines? Yes. But, but, there are loads of specters down there. Yes. Are you a specter? No. Then who are you? Have you been sent by the queen or the deaden? Whatever that is. No. But, 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 you still know how to fight the specters. You, you could destroy them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is getting a little bit silly. Oh, that... that would be great. We... we have, uh, specters in our big barns. Barns? Oh, my character finally stopped saying yes and no. Or the character who is accompanying me, I suppose. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yes! Oh, shoot, looks like we... oh no, it's just another story. I thought we had a boss fight to come and um you're in the metal farmstead uh farmsteads of Pentel, the eastern part of zone 1. These maps are so freaking weird. Wait, isn't this the exact same thing we saw before with the the cows? Our work consists of cutting livestock in two and extracting the me metallic bo boulders that are collected in the what? And the cadavers? Are... What are cows eating, apparently? All the poor quality metal is discarded, forming the ground we walk on. The rest gets purified to make tools and other objects with. This game is weird. I wonder if those are metal cows, then. Some of it is also put into crates and sent to the other zones. But they have tools and soil as well, I suppose. Hey, it's the cow anatomy chart or something like that. Or meat chart, I don't know what exactly it would be called. It's called. As the first of four elements, it's an important element. Zinc. Because without metal, people would have nothing to walk on. They would sink and drown. <sighs> There, and thus we have specters in the large barns. I must purify the mines first. Ah, uh, yes, but the barns aren't that big, and, uh, it would be nice of you to take care of them fast, because the Queen's inspector is going to be arriving any moment. So, could you please take care of the barns first? Mm -hmm. All right. Ah, ah, great! Thanks a lot! The barns are directly to the right. They aren't big at all. You'll see. It's going to be done quickly. If I remember correctly, I think we actually did explore was pretty much all that was in that mines. I mean, there were other ways, but they are blocked off, so... I feel like we have to do this first. Let's go actually examine this, this one first. I prefer working here over the smoke mines. At least you profit by the outside air. Wait, what? At least you profit by the outside air? Does that mean these guys don't like smoke while the other dudes really like smoke? I might be in interpre uh, interpreting that line wrong, but that would be funny if these guys on the eastern side are like, Oh god, smoke is disgusting, while the ones on the western side like live off of smoke like they were saying before. We shouldn't get attached to the animals, see? Once you are, it's difficult- Wait, once you are, it's difficult to put your hands inside, see? Okay. See you later, buddy. He's gonna be like the mobster of the group, I suppose. Oh, <laughs> a bald man, or at least he looks bald. How's, how's it going? Uh, he's just like the rest. This guy's all like Bart Simpson types, if they're- if, like, the top third of their head was chopped off, like, in a horrific manner. 
These balls are cluster, uh, clusters of worked metal, which are going to be sent to other zones. It's, uh, metallic. Okay. Let's go ahead and save the game. I like to save the game pretty often. Hey, nice! In our save zone, we have the add-on accompanying us now. That's cool. We have to pay close attention to the nutri nutrition of the animals if we want high-quality meat. Or metal. That was metal. You're going to the... De Wait, you're going to the destroy the specters. That's a funny typo. Hurry up! We're expecting the queen's inspector at any moment. Hey, specter. There, there are slash is five specters left in the barn. Okay, this looks like this is kind of more like the, um... Uh, what you call it? Style the the space funeral style that I was mentioning before. And holy cow, <laughs> is this guy big looking? He might be a little bit of a problem. Although he doesn't seem to be packing too much of a punch, so he should be perfectly fine, I think. I kind of like these ahas that he's saying though. He's just like aha, aha. Oh god, that was weird. He just gave us a little jab in the back. That was really rude of him. Uh, oh, we have to attack the Ahas? <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird, but in a really, really cool way. I like that a lot. Hopefully these things should be going down momentarily. Awesome. Adversaries purified, as always. Oh, God. I thought that specter face was our own, and I was really going to freak out for a sec. Do I want to take out these ones first? Eh, nah, let's go for this one, for basically no reason. It'll make the cows happier, and I love animals, so... I, anything I could do for the cows will be great. I'm not sure if this guy is actually spawning the ahas. It, it, it kind of looks like it in a, in a bit of a way. Which might make one think it would be smarter to take out the ahas first, but... I don't know. If, if he is spawning those things, I think it would probably be a better idea to take them out before anything else. Oh, nope, he's definitely not spawning them because they're just kind of appearing out of nowhere. Get out of here, Mr. Aha. <laughs> so freaking weird. Just like Space Funeral, I'm never gonna understand this game, I'm sure. Oh, shoot, there must be something really big in the basement if I were to guess. Might as well take out what's up doors first, obviously, since these are like the, the main guys that are ahead of us. Hopefully we'll, we'll level up it before too long as well, so we could become, like, the masters of this domain and one-hit everything. That's the funny thing about me and strat strategy games like this, like Final, uh, like Final Fantasy, these, these turn-based games. Because, obviously, like, the strategy of the combat is one of the main draws to them, ma making sure you're, you're, um, like, capable of beating the enemies, make sure you're using the right attacks against them if they have some immunity and stuff like that. But in all honesty, I kind of, like, oh god, uh, Alpha is about to die, I need to heal him after this. Um, but one of my favorite ways to handle these types of games, yeah, we leveled up. One of my favorite ways to handle these is just brute force it, you know? Just usually attack guys directly. Uh, recovers a moderate amount of HP. Let's go ahead and give that... Whoa, that heals a lot! 100 isn't moderate, I would say. I'd say, like, 20 or 50 would be moderate. Ah, not, not 20. I would say 50 would be moderate. 20 would actually be, like, barely any health healed, so... Let's go ahead and take out this weird tear ghost. Does that kind of look like he's an upside-down tear, like someone is crying? Or if I want to be really nasty, he could be like... a piece of jizz that like just <laughs> fell off of someone's penis and is falling to the ground like a tear. But I don't know, I don't want to think about ghosts that way. <laughs> it might scar me for life, especially if I, uh, ever want, uh, especially the next time I watch Ghostbusters or something. Speaking of stuff like that, though, Alpha's health is at 69, and oh yeah, it's the, the best number in the world. Alright, there's only one specter left, and he's downstairs, so this guy has to be a strong guy, I'm sure about it. So let's actually go ahead and heal um this guy a little bit more. I uh, might as well heal the batter as well. Theoretically, I probably could just go outside and do it that way, but this way's faster. Hey, Spec- Oh no, is this a puzzle? 
We're dealing with a puzzle right here. I kind of like these puzzles, though. And this one was incredibly easy, so <laughs> not much to worry about. Uh, no need to teleport. I challenge you to a duel, Mr. Spectre! This guy actually might not be all that more difficult than the previous one was, or at least it doesn't look like he's going to be. This guy might end up being easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's just his ahas are a big old nuisance. So we're gonna go ahead and take those out. Who the hell is laughing now? The ghost is dead. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's like the creator of this game laughing. He's like, haha, you fool. You have to suffer in enjoyment of my wonderfully bizarre, insane world. Alright. Barn has been purified! Hooray! Let's go ahead and just teleport out. Do it the fast way, I suppose? Everyone left! Oh, no, this is the inspector, I presume. I... 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 I am really... Oh, God! Shut your trap, poor moron! No, I... Yes! Has he been in there for long? I... I don't know. Of course you know nothing. I could have guessed. He... He will eliminate the specters. And why does he think he's capable of destroying those stupid phantoms? He thinks he's better than you. Better than the Queen. No. No, I don't think that. Shut up. I haven't asked you anything. You all think you're smarter than everyone else. But you're all the same. I'm Batman. In any case, that's hardly important. The ghosts will ease that prig. Uh, uh, you... You think he won't succeed? Of course not. Nobody here is capable of fighting the phantoms other than the Queen's officers. If you'd only listen to me more often, you wouldn't be in this much shit. <laughs> I really like that. But, but, then who? Who's going to destroy the phantoms? I could have done it. But you don't deserve it. Too bad for you. You'll just have to take care of your problems yourselves. I, I, no, P please. I'll be leaving now. I'll be returning to Alma. At least the people there are polite. They ain't constantly cutting you off. P please don't. Goodbye. Oh, I want us to show up. Oh, God. Piss off. Don't. No, I. I command you. Get the fuck out of my way this instant. If you want to keep your job. Wow. That guy was saying that, uh, the people here aren't polite. Well, that was pretty bizarre. I guess we'll talk to that guy in the next episode. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to think about that guy. Apparently, the queen is probably a bit of a dick because her people or her, like, warriors are kind of jerks. And if we have to purify the land, now that I think about it, it would make sense that the ruler of the land would be corrupt if the land needs purifying, so... I don't know, things are getting a little bit more exciting with that guy about, I don't know, it shows us what uh, stuff we might have in hold for our future. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.